Hello everyone, welcome back to Grimm's Garage, and today we're looking at more TMNT reissue series. It's been a while since I've had some reissues. I've had these three for a while. Even at that, I'm late on the game, and I'm releasing this because I was waiting for a fourth figure. I just got wing nut today, and since that was so old, they're now releasing them with the 40th kind of anniversary stickers on the packaging and that's pretty cool so obviously they're re-releasing them finding the ones they missed regardless I know it's not going to be hot topic material for most people because this is old news but this is new news for me I'm going to share it with you so if you like it thank you please like and subscribe a small channel out like me so much just hit two little buttons without further ado we're going to take a look at these four guys in their packaging and get them out of there here we have baxter stockman weapon turtle swatter beautiful artwork on the cards as always a little ridiculous but fun all together he's looking quite quite weird and with the obtaining a wing nut leatherhead is the only one I need to complete the classic line that's the only one I need to complete the classic line other than uh, rat king but he's only been featured on a card he was never released that was just a big tease so I'll take a quick look at the card there take a pause next up we have shredder with ninja boat I always felt this figure when I was a child even felt a little off like it was just shaped differently like it just felt like it belonged to a totally different toy line <laughs> next up we have Krang with brain drainer this guy here Far. All four of these are awesome, awesome childhood memories. These are four really cool figures to me, like close to the original line before they got too wacky. These were four of my original favorites. And we have... Wingnut and screw loose. But screw loose is really just a little accessory, honestly. I'm going to take a pause for a moment. We'll get these guys out of the package and get a more quality look at these guys. And here we are, all out of the package. First off, we got our Baxter Stockman, which didn't come with many accessories. Uh, he just has his turtle swatter weapon here, already on his arm. That's because he has these additional fly arms and wings that can be easily attached or detached. So technically that's part of his weapon accessories and they all slightly articulate not too snazzy like this guy when I was younger I think uh, I think that's one change I'm okay with most of the modern incarnations he is an African-American now 
I, I'm okay with that change. A lot of, a lot of franchises try to ethnically or genderly change things, and um, sometimes it's horrible. Sometimes it's, it's okay, or sometimes it's, who cares? It doesn't matter. I like the newer versions of Baxter. Here we have Splinter. This doofy rumpus body. His scrawny arms. He's got his fabric robe on and his rubber belt. Holding it all together. He's holding his bow and arrow. But just like all his turtle kin, he comes with a weapons rack. Which is where the bow came off of. As well as your traditional two turtle or ninja shuriken stars. And his uh, traditional head and knife cane, sword cane. Pretty cool looking little weapon. Next up we have Krang. In what the packaging calls life support system. But we also know as the bubble walker. Of course, the arms are removable, attachable. And so is he. Take him right out of his walker. This is technically the figure in itself. All purple and blue veined. Articulated tentacles. A little bottom for uh, future accessorizing. It sits right in there. Close him up into his bubble walker. He's got his android arms and legs. And what they call the brain sucker. It feeds right into him. Two points of click articulation on these legs so you can get some uh, posing action on that and last but not least we have wing nut which and screw loose which i believe was one of my favorites as a kid just because he's very bulky and i don't know what it is he just stands out i don't know if it's the uh 50s Batman knockoff costume. I don't know. But one thing I was thought weird about him is that he has physical legs and arms, but mechanical wings. Where a real bat would have legs, wings. If he needed to mechanicize something, it'd be front arms. Which is what they did with Mutant Mayhem and, uh, they also gender bend it. Uh, Wingnut and Mutant Mayhem is now female, but I think they remade the character properly. Um, she has physical legs and physical wings, but she has android arms added to her body, which makes a lot more sense for the character. But um, yeah, Wingnut is super cool. This guy's accessory belt. Just like some uh, twisted Batman. Um, it look, straight up looks like a grenade, but he calls it some kind of blood bomb. And a bat gun. Which are removable, obviously, but he's got some convenient wing storage on his mechanical wings. Which you can see also have other weaponry and guns. Wing that is super cool. And his little compadre, uh, Screws. I'll say I don't remember what his name was. Yeah, Screws. I was right. He's a mosquito. It's not really a full figure. It's more like a little throw-in figure. It reminds me of the little ghost guys you get from, with the Ghostbusters. It's more of a full-fledged figure in the cartoons, but... It's known just being a sidekick to him. 
So thank you for joining me today. I hope you all join me again soon. Please know you are all so much appreciated. I hope you all have a very good night. Happy hunting.